company was founded in 1984, just after uh, Phil Tippett had finished working on Return of the Jedi. We're very well known for our character animation, for our realism in all the images that we create. We've been in the CG business since there's been a CG business. In you know the early days, companies like Tippett Studio had to invent our own tools to do things. We are discovering through the tools that the Foundry makes, like Katana, and Moto, and of course Nuke. We are able to speed up how we do things and make better looking images. Even a studio of our size, which isn't a giant massive studio, you will have your art department, your modelers, your riggers, your animators, your texture painters. What's nice about Moto is that it takes some of those barriers down, is that the design, the sculpt, the texturing, and even the animation and the, the rendering is facilitated right through the software itself. So currently, uh, I'm using predominantly Nuke and Modo. When it came time to do Cosmos, the fact that we were working on a show that had tight deadlines and the fact that it now ran on Linux were sort of like the perfect storm that let us sort of bring it in-house and start playing with it. When we first heard that we were getting Cosmos and we learned that we were going to be working on the ship of the imagination, which is basically just a very shiny object, when I first thought about that was like, maybe we can try Modo on this because the fact that Modo was such a quick renderer and we could just position lights and sort of interactively take a look at it while we we're you know, working on setting up the textures or working on setting the scene or setting the lighting made it just ideal for that kind of uh, uh, possibilities. The work that we're doing is as hard as it's ever been. You know, the demands of the clients that come here are very high. You know, everybody wants something amazing and something beautiful and they want it done fast. Going from film work, which typically has a much longer range for turnarounds to episodic TV work by Cosmos, it really requires a lot of flexibility in the pipeline. We can respond to those faster turnarounds uh, with tools like Katana. It's a lighting tool, but it's a lighting and rendering tool. It's something that allows us to pull in all the different bits and pieces from our pipeline and, and pull them all together so that we can generate render passes and do lighting um, and, and look dev and asset development. You know, I tried to get a commercial for my new movie on during the game, but apparently it's not family friendly. What? I know. Our pipeline is largely Linux based, and so introducing Photoshop into that mix, we ended up with two machines on an artist's desk and having to send data back and forth between them. Mari let us kind of ditch all of that and do real 3D paint as well as uh, two, two and a half D paint uh, right on one box. It was just a much more efficient workflow. We invest in talent, we invest in resources, we invest in technologies and tools that will help us to make the best images possible. And I feel really excited about the possibility you now the Foundry right now that I focused like like lasers on what it is I'm trying to get done.